Your name is Kirk Cousins. You're a quarterback for the National Football League. You were just acquired by the Atlanta Falcons to play for them for four years at around $160 million. You have a guaranteed contract for $100 million. You're about to watch the NFL draft with family and friends. The sixth pick has been selected. Up next is the seventh pick. Your new team, the Atlanta Falcons, they're next after the seventh pick. Who would they select? Your original train of thought was, well, I'm gonna come to Atlanta. We already have a great offense. We really do. The offensive line is pretty good. It could definitely get better. But then every position in the office could get better. But to be honest, the one thing that I want in my team is to be better at the needed position. To have the best player available, whether it's offense or defense. And let's be sincere, the Atlanta Falcons defense needed much help. We needed an edge rusher. So the seventh pick is on the clock. And you get a call from Terry Fontenelle thinking, whoa, he's going to tell me who he's going to pick. I wonder who it is. Is it going to be an edge rusher? Maybe even a wide receiver. Maybe somebody on the offensive line. Hey, Kirk, it's Terry. Just want to let you know that we're going to pick a quarterback in the eighth spot. What? A quarterback? Why are you telling me this right now? Who? Michael Penix Jr. That's going to be our number eight spot. You're not going to tell him why. It's not your job to be a general manager. You're just going to be curious to know why they're picking a damn quarterback when they just hired you for $160 million over four years. You're thinking to yourself, wait, what the fudge? The consensus is that you're going to go defense or maybe you're going to pick the wide receiver number two. For my way. Basically, you're getting your job replacement. The expectation is that you're going to be shadowed by him. That you're going to be told, look, just tell him how it is to be in the NFL. Tell him what to expect from plays. Tell him what to expect from other teams. Tell him how to be you. You know how sad that is? That's very, very sad. You come here to win. You come here to show that their team is spending and that they're willing to spend on defense and offense, but no, they're re spending on your replacement. We get it. If it was a second or third round quarterback selection, then yeah, maybe that's okay. But at the eighth spot at the first round, it makes absolutely no sense, ladies and gentlemen. None, at least to Kirk. But he can't show his frustration. He can't tell people, hey, I'm pissed. He can't because it's all about the team. It's all about working together. It's all about the chemistry. So who tells everyone that he was shocked and surprised by the selection? His representative, his agent. Why is his agent talking for him? Look, here's my feeling on this. As a team general manager, as a team coach, and as a team owner, it is not your responsibility to explain certain situations to certain players, whether they're all-star caliber players, whether they are Kirk Cousins or Tom Brady. It's not. You make your decision for your own damn reasons. There should be some sort of master plan ready and in the books, and you have to follow the plan. In this case, or in this scenario, Terry Fontenet, since he came to the Atlanta Falcons, he decided to pick the best player instead of the best player available for their needs. What does that mean? To the Falcons, Michael Penix Jr. was the best available player at number eight. Overall, they thought that he could have been the second best quarterback in the draft after Caleb Williams. Maybe close to Drake May, but he's second best. Yes, he never won a national championship. Yes, he has some ailments and illnesses, but no, nobody cares about that. What we all care about is his starting ability, his speed, his ability to be making everyone better. So you're Kirk Cousins, how are you supposed to feel? Well, I got $160 million over four years. I'll teach this guy how to make money. I'm not gonna teach him how to be the guy who's replacing me, but I'm gonna teach him how to be the rich quarterback. The one that's gonna make over $500 million at the end of my career. That's my train of thought. That's how Kirk Cousins should think about it. It doesn't matter. What if Michael Penix Jr. sucks? What if he gets injured? What if there's too many what ifs? Let the process go. Kirk Cousins is our starting quarterback in 2024. He'll most likely be the starting quarterback in 2025. In 2026, we'll come back and talk about it. It might be Michael Penix. And we, the fans, 
I'm gonna have to be okay with it. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow. How would you feel if you were Kirk Cousins? See you in the next one.